Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. As always, I appreciate that. And in my ongoing quest to review all the games in my Steam library, next up is Aeon Command. Aeon Command is a space management game, well, with spaceships against a space backdrop on your screen with graphics that seem to come uh, from a side-scrolling shoot-em-up. So they're quite simple and effective and there is a spacey soundtrack in this game. So it has the look and the sound of a sort of a retro style uh, game and I do like that. Although small text and health bars uh, above your ships make it difficult to distinguish between uh, the various spaceships, um, especially on the higher resolutions. So why have those high resolutions in the first place? This game does not need high resolution uh, graphics or high resolutions for that matter. Also, the ships tend to look kind of similar and there's no way of telling what ship does what, for instance, so it kind of becomes uh, confusing. But let's let's just go back and, and say what, what this game is about. You, you get this mothership and you can create ships with the mothership. Now, first you create a bunch of uh, resource gathering ships and they will go out automatically and uh, start gathering resources. Once you have a bunch of resources you can build fighter ships, artillery ships, uh, defense ships and these ships again once they're done uh, they will move out automatically they will move to the right of the screen engaging any enemy ships that will come your way because there is also a enemy mothership on the other side of the screen if you scroll to the right and uh, the mothership has the same idea as you so the object of the game is to destroy the enemy mothership and after every successful mission new ships will unlock and uh, yeah, you can build new ships and uh, existing ones can be upgraded but i did not really enjoy this game very much because well the, the strategy that works best in this game is to just overwhelm the enemy with sheer numbers. So spamming a variety of ships and watching as the battle plays out is the main strategy here. And that's my problem. Although there is some satisfaction in seeing your forces overwhelm the enemy, uh, there isn't much to command as the title suggests and the lack of control over your units because everything is played out automatically the lack of interactivity makes the whole thing feel sort of barren you know it doesn't really feel as if this is a game also your ships seem to have questionable ai as they uh, seem to preoccupy themselves with the smaller resources ships rather than uh, go after the larger battleships if only I could control my own ships, uh, this game would have been really fun, you know, it, like in an RTS game, for instance, but you can't. Again, everything is automated ex except for uh, the production of the ships themselves. This is really a case of a concept that sounds better than it actually uh, pans out. So it's an interesting distraction, but not a very fun one, unfortunately. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time.